Rona Kenshin, episode 57. So they're walking into the Inferno room. And Yumi's like, Shishio is totally gonna control the world. And Sano's like, you crazy. Then he sort of makes fun of her for falling in love with Shishio in the first place. Looks like she's going to have a flashback regarding that. Oh, nope, no flashback. Maybe later. Back at the Aoya, Kaura is, t Kaura, Kaoru is tending to Yahiko's wounds. And yeah, he goes all pumped about how he was able to help protect the Aoya and all that. But enough about that. Back to the um, Kenshin slowly walking towards Shishio scene. And now Kenshin's just having this whole array of flashbacks to various evil things Shishio has done and said in the past. Yeah, he's finally there! And Shishio's like, you know what, Kenshin, you've done really well so far, um, but just so you know, if you leave me alive, I won't be turning good like various other people you have changed on your way here. And Hoji has something against Sano personally because he's the one who burned the ship that he sunk so much money into. So he's like, I will make you pay too. Then Yumi goes back over to Shishio and Kenshin's like, thanks. And then she starts making out with Shishio. It's all very romantic. But now the fight's totally gonna begin. Yay, it started. Wow, Shishio already used one of his special moves and it made fire on his sword. Kenshin just kind of standing there in awe, like, wow, you lit your sword on fire. Actually, that is pretty cool. Like, why is he able to do that? The Homura Dama. But Kenshin's like, I already know the secret, so I'm not worried. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's made of um, human oils, if I understood that correctly. Because I'm, I'm not, I don't have subtitles on this episode, but Ningen Abura, which is human oils, is the thing that is lighting the sword on fire. And he reveals that his sword is the brother sword, like a uh, two Kenjin sword. So I guess the more people he kills, the better his sword becomes, I guess. So they are both manslayers. They both have a sword made by the same guy, but they're still totally different. They keep drawing these parallels between these two characters, but the, what they're fighting for is like the total opposite. So then Kenshin tries to attack, but Shishio grabs his sword and stops it. Because he's already seen the attack before, he knows how to defend against it. And then he bites him? That was weird. And Kenshin like passes out, sort of, or maybe he's in shock and he's just lying there like, Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of episode 57. A lot of that episode was um, flashbacks, unfortunately. It was kind of like a clip show for like a, a solid seven minutes there. But that's okay because a lot happened, a lot started with the fight, and we finally got to see Shishio actually do something, and then he went and did something wacky like take a big bite out of Genshin's neck. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this battle continuing. I'm really excited for the next chunk of episodes. So I hope you'll join me for that. It'll be episodes 58 through 62. Bye.